Hello everyone, time for another McFarlane Toys Spawn 7 inch action figure review and today I'm going to be looking at the deluxe Spawn set, Spawn with his throne. As soon as I saw this I knew I wanted it. I grew up reading the Spawn comics as a kid and a great portion of Spawn's time was spent on this throne and the idea of having a classic Spawn with his classic colours, his brighter colours on his throne that makes such a fantastic display piece I knew I had to get my hands on it. So starting off by looking at the packaging, this will be very familiar to anyone who's bought any of the deluxe spawn figures in the past. This is of course the sort of long flat oblong box that we're getting here. It is mostly window display. Behind the figure we can see this sort of green, sort of emeraldy kind of smoky misty thing uh, going on which is really cool. It's quite a nice look and it does help the darker figures and pieces really pop in the packaging. It brings them forward which is great uh, and I think having the big spawn logo there, that classic logo uh, looks absolutely tremendous at the bottom of the packaging so this looks really good on display straight away if we look at the side panel this is fairly chunky and they've used this space quite wisely I think by putting a nice image of spawn here taken from the comic books uh, which I think is tremendous so this looks really really good likewise if we look at the reverse of the packaging I love this this is given over entirely to this fantastic image of spawn on his throne and this looks just amazing. I think this looks great on display all by itself. Thankfully, there's very little text to ruin this image. So this looks really, really good. I think they've done a great job with this. So before I do anything, I do want to show the figure in all his glory in his finished state. So you can see him on his throne here. This is a really cool looking figure all in all. And we'll come back to this towards the end of the video. Right now, let's take a look at the figure by himself. So here is Spawn. And as you can see, they've made an interesting choice here with the cape. They're only really giving you the top of the cape. So it looks a little bit strange if you decide to have him independent. Now you can remove this cape if you want, but it does look a little bit naked without it. Now, the head sculpt is pretty much the same sculpt that was used on the Mortal Kombat 11 figure that we saw from McFarlane Toys. So there's not too much to speak about here, but what we can see is that the colouring, of course, is very different. The white is a lot brighter, the green is a lot more vivid, uh, and this is much more of the comic book colourings, which looks really good. I really like these brighter tones that they've used on this figure. The other key difference here, of course, is also his cape. This is wildly different from what we saw in the previous Spawn releases, which is a much smaller smaller collar. This is much more wild and pointy and jagged, which looks great. I really like what they've done with this. Likewise, the chain around his neck also is a lot chunkier and very different to what we've had previously. And that's also true for the body as well. The actual M on his chest uh, is actually a little bit different to what we got previously. This is a little bit taller, a little bit thicker at the top there in the arches, and I think this looks really good. Again, the colouring, of course, is much brighter this time around, so much more comic book accurate, which is great. And also that belt piece there that we see, very different to what we got previously. So this is a brand new piece, and this looks great. Likewise, the hands are different, they're very subtly different, they're, much, they're different sculpt hands, which is great, but also the gauntlets as well, they're very, very similar, but quite different. They're actually a little bit narrower, again, the paint apps, of course, are very different, much brighter in the colours they've gone for, but the dimensions are ever so subtly different as well. This is also true for the leg, particularly if we look at that big uh, stumpy thing that he's got there on his right leg. I'm not quite sure <laughs> what that is, but this big boot uh, is actually a slightly different shape than what we got on the Mortal Kombat figure. So all in all, although this figure looks very similar, and it's easy to think that this is simply just a repaint of the same figure we've had before. It's actually very different. It's got many different parts that are just very subtly different from that first release. Articulation wise, he has a ball joint in the head so he can move his head from side to side, he can lean it left and right if you want and he can also nod his head up and down as well. He has ball joints in the shoulders so his arms will lift up and out but if you notice very carefully he also seems to have a butterfly wing joint there as well to aid the arms really stretch him back. He also has a bicep swivel and double jointed elbow so he can push that arm all the way back to the top of his head. Now he's got a pin swivel at the wrist so he can rotate that wrist all the way around and it hinges forwards and backwards as well. There's a ball joint in the top of his torso in the chest area there that will help him lean from side to side, move left and right and bend forwards and backwards a little bit. But you'll also notice there's a second ball joint in the waist which will also allow him to move from side to side and lean forwards and backwards. So there's a pretty healthy range of motion here. 
There's more ball joints in the hips, of course, so those legs will kick out to the side. You can even rotate the legs around a little bit. They will kick forwards, they'll kick backwards, and of course, there is a double joint at the knee as well, so you can kick that lower leg all the way back. Finally, there is an ankle pivot at the foot there, so of course you can hinge that forwards and backwards, and there's also a hinge at the toe as well. As a quick comparison, here is the throne spawn against... <clears throat> As a quick comparison, here is our throne spawn standing next to the Mortal Kombat 11 spawn. As you can see, huge difference in the colorization, but also you should be able to see some of the subtle differences between the actual pieces that they've used on this figure. If we look, for example, at the cape being an obvious one, the chains around the waist, even the gauntlets on the arm and the big boot as well, you can see all those very subtle differences. There's also differences between the pouches on the leg as well. They look pretty much the same, but actually they are a slightly different sculpt. So there's a lot of little subtle differences here between the two figures, but you can really see the difference between the game version and the comic book version. Uh, I love both of these figures. I was really delighted to get my hands on the original Mortal Kombat figure. That hasn't changed at all. I still think it's a great figure, but I have to say I much prefer the comic book colorings uh, just because it's brighter and it's just more appealing on display. The throne is pretty much one static piece, there's no moving parts to this, but it looks absolutely fantastic. You can see so much detail in here, I particularly like the introduction of all the different skulls that we can see, but also all the bits and pieces of weaponry and all sorts of junk in here. You can spend ages identifying little bits and pieces of all sorts of things thrown in to make up this gigantic throne, and I think it looks really good. It's pretty authentic to what we see on the page in the comic books, and it looks pretty imposing and creepy all by itself. And here he is sitting on the throne. I think this looks pretty good. It's not the easiest fit, to be honest. I thought they might have sculpted the throne specially to sit this figure in there, but there's no noticeable grooves or anything that he kind of just slides into. I think it looks pretty good all in all, uh, but you do have to persevere with it to get it to look natural and to kind of replicate what we see in the comic books. Uh, it takes a little bit of perseverance, particularly with the arms on the armrest there, making sure that the cape looks like it's flowing down. So, final thoughts. This is going to be four stars from me. I think this is a really nice decorative piece. The best thing about it is that you can put it on display and it's always going to look really cool and it's going to be eye-catching no matter what you do with it. So I do really like that we have this base. Uh, now, I also really like the comfort colorings on this figure. I like how they've changed some of the dimensions or some of the bits and pieces on it as well. I think this is all actually much improved and much more comic book accurate. So I love the attention to detail on this figure all in all. So I think they've done a really nice job of it. That said, I don't think it's perfect. I've got a couple of criticisms. One is I think it's a shame that they didn't put in uh, two capes. So having this top cape, I think works really well for when it's on display, of course, but it would have been nice if they given a full cape option as well. And I don't see why they couldn't have done that. Uh, so that's a real shame that we didn't get that option so that we can stand freely away from this and have a comic book version of the character just without the throne. I think that would have been great. Um, the other thing with this is I don't know if he warrants the deluxe price tag. If we compare this to releases from, say, Marvel Select, for example, who will often give you a base thrown in as part of these fantastic figures, uh, it seems strange that they've doubled the price of this <laughs> in this individual figure for this base. That, it looks very nice, but it, it doesn't feel like it really warrants the extra money they're asking for. So if you've already bought the Mortal Kombat version of Spawn, you may be asking yourself, well, uh, is he worth the double dip? And and I think the answer to that really depends on how much you like the comic book version of Spawn. Whilst there are very subtle differences between the two figures, it is pretty much the same figure. What you're paying for here is a brighter version of the character and, of course, having the throne as a display piece. If that really lights your fire, then he's absolutely worth it. I personally am very happy to have both in my collection because I really like having this guy on display and I, as I said, I already loved the original release. So I don't mind having two versions of this character in my collection. They're both very solid figures. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and remember to subscribe as there'll be plenty more videos soon.